you guys. <laughs> hey guys, how? Oh, no, I'm kidding. Hey guys, I am here to do some more um, stuff, some savings challenges for this week. Hopefully, I won't say shut the challenges, shut the box, savings fund sinker. I've just been mixing up all my terms, but um, I'm getting back into the groove. So hopefully, things will work out today. I'm trying a few new things today too, and I also have some great news that I'm very proud of. One of my goals I met. So I will get right into this video um by starting um to unstuff my raggedy a word by um uh, wallet right <laughs> y'all don't okay before i do this promise not to judge me at least don't laugh just don't judge me look at that i'm sorry i don't even know what's in here uh, so i have to now um unload this craziness and <laughs> stuff this money in because this is extra my sinking funds have not my sinking funds my um everything's been paid i still have money in my um in my uh wallet uh in my you know what i'm saying the envelopes in my wallet so i'm really just emptying this out and stuff in <laughs> You know what, guys? I'll be right back. Let's do it back. It, well, you know what? I realized that I should probably do this on camera just for transparency's sake. Because I cannot be the only one whose wallet hasn't looked like this at one time or another. And I think there's probably somebody who just feels like crap about it. And I have decided. I read this on flyer today uh, on um, shame versus guilt. And I know a lot of the things that I have... I deal with these receipts are going to go into my fetch app uh, a lot of things that um i do that i think are bad are just stuff that happens like that everybody kind of goes through and i i assign a value to it like i'm a bad person that's wrapped up in the change money in the receipt money look. um i judge myself on it like not the thing i judge myself like i'm a bad person oh my, i i mean is it vaccination oh that is the card to my um <laughs> my in-person brick and mortar bank account woohoo finally y'all i've been there are things you take for granted. I have almost always screwed over a bank account or a credit union account. And it took me two years to be able to get another account, almost two years because of bankruptcy and everything. But I could not get a um, bank account, like a, in, a, in person. I was using a Chime account. And to, oh my gosh, I, oh, I got to tell you guys that story. I go into, um, oh, I got my little tithe envelope that I make sure I put something in. Um, so I go to see, I go to my foot doctor because I um, uh, injured my foot um, where I had had some surgery years ago. And while I was moving, I hurt my foot. While I was moving things from the basement, my foot. So I go to see the foot doctor. I ended up on vacation on this. Um, I end up going to see the foot doctor and I end up with a boot that I have on under, under the table that you can't see. It's on the table. But yeah, I, as I'm coming back down, I see I have been researching this one credit union that helps second the second chance for people. This is an auger in my hand. Um, that gives that helps people start second chance accounts. And I didn't know if they're gonna help me or not. I don't even I didn't know really what was left on my check system stuff or what was on my um whatever the other thing is that they use. And so I took a chance. I did. I busted Yui in a Walmart parking lot and went and pulled up. And like it was raining outside, like cold, stinging rain, because it's cold where I am, very cold. And so I go, is that it? Yep, that's it. I always want to see if there's money hiding. <laughs> no. Um, so I did a bust of Yui in the um, Walmart parking lot. And then I um, 
pull into their parking lot. And it's one of those parking lots that the door isn't off the parking lot. You kind of got to walk out of the parking lot onto the sidewalk around the bushes and the grass and then go into the building. Right. Well, I did all that. And it's on another side of town where, you know, our city is really segregated. It's on another side of town and I, different language. But I go in and sometimes, I don't know, my my preconceptions of people, I'm not like, I don't have power to be racist and I'm just going to be realistic. But I do have preconceived notions based on my past experiences. And so I was feeling real trepidatious because I didn't have the language. And I, I just was going to ask a question. And so um, the girl, I went to the teller and there was nobody there. There was a security guard who was fixing his something. It was just like this really place where I'm like, should I get in my money? If I hadn't researched the um, organizations, only two in our state, two in our, our city, and we're a pretty, pretty decent sized city. I think we're the only one in our state, the only ones that have city these branches in our state. And so I knew that these were, you know, legitimate because there's just a lot of them in another state. We just started here. And so, um, I go in and I talk, go up to the teller and I'm like, I just told her the truth. I filed bankruptcy. I haven't been able to get a, a regular account. I just want to see if I can get an account. And if I can't get an account, could you please tell me what I would need to do? You know, I was so ashamed. And there's that shame thing again, where I identified uh, that's, that's raggedy, but it spins, right? Um, I, um, I assign behaviors to my value. I assign value to my behaviors as if the behavior defines me, as if I'm a human. I try to remember I'm a human being and not a human doing, right? So who, what I do is does not validate me. It's just, I mean, the fact that I'm alive is my validation. Um, and so I, and this lady, she, she says, just a minute, go have a seat. I sit down. She walks me over to the, she says, I'm going to help you. <laughs> she walks me over there. And we talk and she starts telling me I should drink more water, that I should take care of my girl, take care of yourself. We start talking about old domestic violence situations and how we both went to school after that. And it was just, she was a younger, she wasn't super young because I'm just because I'm older. Everybody seems young, but in her thirties. And so she, um, she looked at my thing and, and she said, you know what? You sound like you really want to change your life. And even though you're $89, what you owe to the, a bank is $89 more than our limit to open an account. I'm going to do this for you anyway. And she opened an account for me. Just grace, right? Let's count this real quick. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh-uh. Start with the big monies. 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. <clears throat> 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58. So that's $58 here. Um, so what happened is um, she started opening the account for me. And I funded it with like $20 that I had in my wallet, um, even though I only needed $5 because I opened the savings and a checking. And I talked to a financial counselor guy it was just crazy they were so happy to see me because they're so new <laughs> and i was just so, i don't know i was just so grateful but the, here's the kicker tomorrow the next day was her last day if i hadn't turned around that walmart parking lot and came back the way that i had planned to i wouldn't have even met her and who knows what the next person would have done for me um i don't know if she she was able to do it because she was leaving i think she may have been the manager i don't know what was going on but she's going into it and I really wish her the best of luck. I'm so proud of her. Um, so I've got $58 and I am going to, I'm going to start with shut the box again. Um, actually, I got to give you guys some um, info on how I had to redo my um, savings challenges. I haven't funded, I've been funding my wallet, but I haven't been funding any sinking funds because I've needed a lot of money to, um, to, to get materials for moving. I didn't know how to plan that. So I've just been keeping my money free and making sure I pay off all the um, utilities over here so that I can shut them off um, and not owe anything on them. Um, so I've just been just cutting the, the uh, thing. My landlord came over today and said that my house looks great, even though I haven't moved anything anything major out of here. But it looks like he said he's never he's not going to have to uh, repair anything. So that feels good. 
Um, and the, this is what he said, the water thing. He said, don't worry about it. He said, don't, don't even worry about it. Um, because I paid double security, the water bill. He said, I thought I had to pay the whole municipal bill when all I owed was the water. I didn't owe the sewer, the trash. So it's like half of what I thought I was going to pay. And he just said, don't worry about it. What? And I referred somebody to him. So it was just a great thing. I have a checking account. I have a savings account. Um, I registered a business. I've been researching and getting my bylaws together and all of that so that I can um, get my 501c3 status. Just life is just going good. My job's doing whatever. <laughs> it's not my business. I just work there. Um, I'm invested, but I work there. All right. So we're going to do shut the box. But I just got to tell you guys, that money from the last shut the box is in here. And that those numbers were off. I don't know if anybody saw that. So welcome. And welcome back for those of you who did see it and who've never seen it. When I did the shut the ch shut the box challenge last time, I screwed up. Like I thought I fixed it, but I screwed up again. But I ended up okay. So what I did was I cleared out some of the savings challenges because they just weren't working for me. I counted out my eighty eight dollar my eighty eight dollar dollar savings challenge, and it was not even eighty eight um, <laughs> sections of that mandala. I'm like all oh, that time I thought. So I just started over. Um, but I took the Christmas money out and I said, I'm going to start that stuff again in April because that's when I won't have to pay rent here or any bills. I'll just have to help him out. Um, and it's going to save both of us a lot of money. So I dispersed it because there was $35 in there. And I put $6 in the shut the box that I owed that I didn't realize was there. I put $20 in my generic monthly savings challenge in March because I got to get that $250 done um, over the next 10 days. Um, I put $4 in the unicorn challenge and I put $5 in the, um, my mini challenge. So, uh, I just wrote that on the back of this. I th think I have planned to use this for something, this empty envelope for something, but I don't remember what, um, this is out of here. I moved this $20, um, into the monthly and $3 into the unicorn. Um, oh girl, you could use a new one. You ain't gonna use this one. Whatever. I may not need this in here. I may not need this in here. Let's take this out. We'll see. So this is the be in it. This is be a unicorn in a field full of horses. In my last video, I oh I did magnolia budgets. Um, be a unicorn in a field full of horses. I'm in love with this. Just so you know. I'm so in love with it that I'm going to probably do this until I'm not in love with it, which I can't say when that would ever be because I love unicorns because I am a unicorn, a unicorn, a unicorn fairy princess or so I think. But yeah, this is really cool. I signed my own. I signed my own colors <laughs> or I signed my own flavor of color. Let's put it that way. And that's just so cute. So cute. Um, but yeah, this guy here has... Um, some funds in there so I put you know I did some in the other video but then I also um, added some from the other one and my generic monthly savings challenge is here I actually made a card for it oh yeah I made my shut the box instead of my generic written on the back of something <laughs> um I like the word generic same way. generic monthly savings challenge and then my mini savings challenge that's going to be $150 um when I'm done I still don't know who BWJ is because I haven't taken the time to research it, but I've refused to post this video without finding out who this person is. Cause that's just not cool. Um, 20 envelope savings challenge, um, by, uh, almost, um, organized owl. And guess what I'm trying this time. I don't have a hole puncher, but I'm, I'm going to see how this works to see whether I want to invest in one. Cause 20 bucks for one hole puncher that only works for one thing. It's not like adjustable or anything. It's kind of a lot to me. I don't know why. Um, but I made it in an A6 size so that I could just keep it in here because the big ones, see, look at this major difference. I have these, but this is just, I think I accidentally printed them. Look at that big difference. Look at that. Wait. Yeah. Major difference. Um, so I could hold that in there and I don't have a problem. With it. If I was to punch it, it would just sit here. And I wouldn't have a problem with, or I could just put it behind here. But yeah, there it is. Um, so I'm going to get started with the shut the box um, challenge. And 
see what happens after that. All right, you guys still with me? Oh no. I may not do the show at the box today. I have to. I'll be right back. I keep forgetting my. Back. All right, guys, I'm back. I had to go all the way to the car. But guess what I figured out? There, is, there are some options over here, and that middle option there is the option to shake the tablet, and it will roll the dice for me. I wish didn't it happen to watch. <laughs> Cheap date. I'm a cheap date. Doesn't take much, y'all. It's still inconvenient. 